to give credit to UMass first. Uh, I thought they did a great job. They came out extremely prepared. They came out in our 2-3 zone, uh, which was very successful uh, for us in the first game, and they made some tremendous adjustments, so credit to them for that. Uh, they shot us out of our zone really quickly. Clarego came out, played really, really well for them. Uh, but our guys were gritty. You know, when we went down double digits, we didn't waver. We continued to guard. Uh, and we did a great job just weathering the storm. You know, we talked about every four minutes, just chop away at it, chop away at it, chop away at it, and our guys did that. Uh, so I'm really, really proud of them. It's a monster win for us. Uh, I told our guys that we got to go one and on whatever is next. You know, so maybe UMass was our Super Bowl, and then we get to get a chance to compete against UMass, uh, against Mason again, and uh, we're excited about that opportunity. So we're going to get back, we're going to prepare, try to get healthy, get some food in us, and get right back to the grind. So uh, really proud of our guys. Questions for the student athletes? Yes, ma'am. Um, Terry, you know you haven't you know played in the last couple of games. Um, how did it feel for you to kind of come out tonight um, after having um, those last games off and you know put up 20 points and kind of you know score some key points for you guys to be able to move forward? Um, it felt great. Uh, I was battling a foot injury, which I still had today, but you know I couldn't miss this game. I couldn't let my team down. So I'm just happy that we got the win today. Questions, student athletes. Another one? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it was mentioned a little bit earlier that they did come out 22 um, and 11 lead at one point. Um, what was kind of going um, right for them just in terms of having those shots fall and what adjustments did you make, um, especially in the defensive end, to kind of hold them to eight points in those last 10 minutes of play or so? Um, well, we switched to a man defense and I was able to push them off the three point line and um, we did a really good job. Um, locking in on that and um, pushing them off that line and therefore their uh, shots weren't falling as well as they were in the beginning of the game. So once we switched out of that zone, it was really successful for us and we were able to go on and run. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know, but you know, it wasn't you know, the, the crispest shooting night for you guys. Um, how much of today's win um, can be, I guess, um, credited to your guys' defense and your ability to make stops and kind of get them um, off balance? The entire game. I mean, we, we, we predicate winning on defense. Uh, offense wins games, defense wins championships. Questions for the student athletes? Right in the back. Even though you didn't make this um, shot attempt at the half, how instrumental was it to gain the momentum going into the locker room and coming out in the second half of the game? Uh, it definitely gave us some energy. Um, uh, going into the halftime, uh, we've, we've struggled coming out in the start of the second half, so that definitely gave us a push uh, in order to come out aggressive and come out strong and come out with some force. Um, and that was able to propel us to go on the runs we did and to play as hard on defense as, as well as we did. So it was definitely instrumental. Any other questions for the student athletes? If not, gentlemen, I'm going to release you back to the locker room. Uh, of course, the locker room will remain open for uh, 30 minutes, but that counts the time that we are in this room.